Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is July 12, 2022. And God gave me a dream that I must give unto you. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, this is urgent. This is urgent. This is urgent. The Lord gave me a dream and he told me that this was very urgent. Before I give you the dream, I would like to pray for each and every one of you who have ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to receive, as I always do, so that the enemy does not come to you and deceive you in one way or another like he knows how. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you, precious God, to thank you for your love, mercy, and your grace to thank you for all that you do for each and every one of us in our lives, Father God. I praise and glorify thy name forever and ever, Lord Jesus. Thank you for this urgent, urgent, urgent dream you have given unto me during the night and during the early hours of the day, of the morning before my awakening. You gave me this dream to give to the body of Christ and the bride of Christ. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. I love you and I adore you. I appreciate all that you are and all that you will ever be to us for all eternity. Amen and amen. God gave me this dream at 7 o'clock a.m. in the morning concerning the harvest of souls. We have no more time left. We are to go bring in the last harvest of souls into the house of the Lord. Jesus is coming back so quickly. In my dream, Jesus was telling me that we are at the very, very, very end of the church age. And we have a few more souls to bring in to the storehouse or into the ark. I was at a church gathering and I was speaking to people in a huge gathering about the Lord, that He loves them very much and He knows what they are going through and He wants them to give their lives to Him so He can take them home to heaven. I told them that Jesus is coming back. There is no more time, and many did listen. Then I went into another place in that huge building. It looked like a hotel or it looked like a restaurant. It was very, very huge. And a church was there, a bunch of people that belongs to a denomination I don't know what denomination it was a group of believers were not and I saw that they were not ready they had on curlers on their hair and they did not have on the white robes they had on plain clothes so I figured that this was the lukewarm church some were hanging I mean, some were singing songs to God, and some were messing around, playing cards, doing whatever they wanted to do, their own thing. God told me, when there is a great family reunion and lightning striking, I shall be coming. When a severe weather storm comes upon you I am coming for my own be ye ready tell my people I am coming then going back to my dream this lady that I was witnessing to told me I had until 9 30 to finish my mission of witnessing then she left after I finished witnessing to her then the last one I witnessed to was a young man who was on a window ledge. 
I told him about how much Jesus loved him and Jesus dying on the cross for him and why he did it and why he died for him and that he loves him very much and how Jesus knows his hurts and wants him to receive Jesus into his heart. Now before Jesus comes to take us home and those who he is calling right now can become born again and come home with us. But the young man was just looking outside of the window and it seemed like he was not listening to me. I told him how to receive Jesus into his life by going to Romans 10, 9 and 10, confessing with his mouth and receiving Jesus in his heart. I woke up at 7, 12 a.m. That was the end of my dream. Jesus is coming back and it is very quickly it could be this year according to many brothers and sisters dreams brethren you know what I am saying the Holy Spirit is speaking to you through me be ye ready be ye ready be ye ready for you not know what hour and what day the Lord doth come but he did show me lightning striking from the east to the west and that is in book of Matthew speaking about the Son of Man coming when lightning strikes from the east to the west brethren God was showing me how very close it is when we are going home and he's showing me the condition of the church or the churches I should say they are lukewarm they are messing around they are playing church they're not taking things serious there was a lot of people a lot a lot of people multitudes and multitudes and multitudes and multitudes uncountable people in that place that God told me that they were going to be left behind. Brethren, when the lightning strikes from the east to the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. You know where to go. Read that. It is in Matthew. Uh, let's see, Matthew. Hallelujah, praise the unto my King. Okay, let me see. Matthew 24. 27 for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west so shall also the coming of the son of man be and that's exactly what the lord showed me in my dream lightning striking from the east to the west shalom be blessed i know that this is a short video but a powerful and you better take this serious and right now where I'm live where I live lightning and thunder is happening right now I don't know if you heard it just now but the rain is coming down very very hard the wind is blowing get ready get ready get ready get ready get ready get ready Shalom, be blessed, and we are out of here. Take this serious, brothers and sisters. Please take this serious.
should home.